Chile is a country. Now, like all good Americans, I make a strong effort to avoid learning anything about any other countries. Uh, uh, oh, you know, I could say Chile, like they pronounce it, but then you all would make fun of me for my pronunciation, wouldn't you? That's right. You all didn't like it when I said Alejandria Ocasio-Cortez, which is how, of course, she pronounces her own name, but you made fun of me. And when I say Bolivria, you make fun of me, uh, even though that is literally identical to how people in Bolivia pronounce their own countries. So if I go Chile, 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 I don't care. And frankly, all of you can gargle my nuts until you choke. Uh, also, in other news, leftist millennial wins election as Chile's next president. Look at that. Hey, that's good. I wonder uh, which replacement leader the U.S. is lining up. A leftist millennial who rose to prominence during anti-government protests was elected Chile's next president Sunday after a bruising campaign against a free market firebrand likened to Donald Trump. With 56% of the votes, that's a pretty good amount, Gabriel Boric, uh, handily defeated by more than 10 points, lawmaker Jose Antonio Cast who tried unsuccessfully to scare voters that his young, inexperienced opponent would upend Chile's vaunted record as Latin America's most stable, advanced economy. In a model of democratic civility that broke from the polarizing rhetoric of the campaign, Cast immediately conceded defeat, that's nice, tweeting a photo of himself on the phone congratulating his opponent on his grand triumph. He then later traveled personally to Boric's campaign headquarters to meet with his rival. That's also quite nice. Meanwhile, outgoing President Sebastian Piñera, a conservative billionaire, eat shit, fucko, held a video conference with Boric to offer his government's full support during the three-month transition. Oh my god. As an American, this is like so amazing. Like, a peaceful transition of power where your right-wing opposition immediately concedes and the conservative, uh, pre the prior governance uh, assists you during the transition period. Oh my god. That's incredible. Um... Amid a crush of supporters, Boric crawled atop a metal barricade to reach the stage where he initiated in the indigenous Ma Mapuhi? Mapuche language a rousing victory speech to thousands of mostly young supporters. The, wi uh, the winner highlighted the progressive positions that launched his improbable campaign, including a promise to fight climate change, nice, by blocking a proposed mining project in Chile, which is the world's largest copper producer. I actually didn't know that. I, I didn't know they were the world's largest. That's interesting. He also promised to end Chile's private pension system, the hallmark of the neoliberal economic model imposed by the dictatorship of General Augusto Pinochet. Fuck you. We are a generation that emerged in public life demanding our rights be respected as rights and not treated like consumer goods or a business, Boric said. We know there continues to be justice for the rich and justice for the poor, and we will no longer permit the poor keep paying the price of Chile's inequality. He also gave an extended shout out to Chilean women, a key voting bloc, nice, promising they will be protagonists in a government that will seek to, quote, leave behind once and for all the patriarchal influence in our society. Wow. This is uh, quite nice, I'd say, you know, in my humble opinion. Let's take a look at the opposition. Cast, 55, a devout Roman Catholic and father of nine, yeah, I'd say that's a devout Roman Catholic, emerged from the far-right fringe after, after having won less than 8% of the vote in 2017. An admirer of Bolsonaro, he rose steadily in the polls with divisive discourse emphasizing conservative family values and playing on Chileans' fears that a surge in migration from Haiti and Venezuela is driving crime. Does... I'm, I'm terribly sorry for my ignorance. Does South America have an issue with migrants from Haiti? That's a bit off, isn't it? It does? Do they just, do they just travel through the mainland? I suppose they just, they just travel down and through. Nothing fancy about it. Okay, gotcha. Um, you know, the, the Venezuela stuff makes sense because it's at least like part of the, the landmass, but you know, so... Here in Colombia, we have a lot of Haitian uh, migrants. Okay, well, Colombia is, 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 is a good bit closer, I think, to than, than Chile. Um, yeah, hold on, sorry. America's map. This is just, this is just what I'm saying. You know, 
Why is it always low resolution? It's like, well, here's a map. Why would anyone look at a map that's 400 pixels wide? Uh, anyway, you know, of course we have Chile down here. Chile, by the way, is massive. The, um, the projection most maps use really underplay how massive it is, I think. Uh, I'll, I'll show that to you in a second, but you know, Haiti's over here. So Colombia having a lot of their um, refugees makes sense, but you know, Chile, I, I guess it's not too far, you know. Here, hold on. Chile real size. Yeah, look at this. Fucking wild, huh? Here's it superimposed over Europe. Yeah. It's it's actually a very large country. Yeah, it's 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 enormous. Um let me see if I can uh Oh here we go. Here's it over the United States for us Americans. Like it's very large. Yes, very long. It is it is the longest country, right? I mean, not in terms of total length, but relative length width. It, it, like it, it has the greatest proportion of one dimension to another. By by a significant extent, I'm pretty sure, too. Remarkable borders on that country. Well, anyway, congratulations to Chilean vic um socialists on their victory. Let me uh finish this up here. As a lawmaker, Cast, that's the Roman Catholic. Uh, has a record of attacking Chile's LGBTQ community and advocating more restrictive abortion laws. He also accused Pinera, a fellow conservative, of betraying the economic Pinochet. Cass' brother, Miguel, was one of the dictator's top advisors. Cool. In b recent days, both candidates had tried to veer towards the center. Cast said he's not an extremist and he doesn't feel far right. Even as dogged by revelations, his German-born father had been a card-carrying member of Adolf Hitler's Nazi party. Wow, really? That's like the meme come to life. That's, that's actually, that is incredible. His father, too, not even his grandfather, his literal father had been a member an, uh, uh, of, of the Nazi party. That is, that is remarkable. Um, never ask a blonde Chilean his last name. <laughs> Uh, Jesus, that's that's impressive. You know, we t we call Trump far right or whatever. I don't think Trump has any direct connections to 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 Nazi Germany. At least not not this direct. That's that's very impressive. Um, let's take a look a little bit more at the winning candidate, huh? Um, so we don't have to waste time misspelling people. I could misspell my own name with how I type. Oh my God, he looks like every side character from every nineteen nineties. American sitcom. That is incredible. Like all of them sort of um sort of mashed together a little bit, you know, like one of those algorithm uh things. It does look a bit like Sargon, yeah. Well he's he, you know, he's got a very warm, kind face, and I, th I think that's nice. But he does have, you know, little beady eyes, so maybe he could be like a secret villain. We'll have to see, you know. We'll see we'll see if the uh uh you know the the skull shaped to villainy ratio is as confidently deterministic as some people claim it to be um yeah let's let's look at more pictures okay we, we we have to get a vibe check right now nothing to the chilean people nothing matters more than a white westerner's perspective on the appearance of their recent landmark victory socialist candidate i i know that you know they're holding their breath over there they're thinking you know uh well, what is what does Vush have to say about it and first of all i just want to say that this I don't know if this was like journalist art or like done for the campaign or whatever. This is good. I'm feeling this, you know. That's good right there. This could go up alongside the like, you know, the the they'll have like a collage image of all of like the great Latin American socialists, you know. That's good. That's that's a good one. Um but it's also not a picture, of course. It's a um it's it's a, it's a drawing. Here's his beard a little bit more wily. I think he looks quite handsome here. Actually, he reminds me a little bit of Laszlo from What We Do in the Shadows, if anyone's seen that. Um, I think he looks quite good, personally. You know. Anyone else feel that way a little bit? A little bit, a little bit. Um, honest to God, I I feel like he was done kind of dirty by his Wikipedia photo. Like, he's a, he's a good-looking dude. You know? Yeah. He's a he's a good looking guy. But this is his Wikipedia photo. I mean, really? Wikipedia, when I eventually get my article, I don't want you to do me this dirty, okay? I want I want I want a photo like yeah, like this, you know, or 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 
Like, the, ah, yeah, put that as, you know, this. Socialists, socialist leaders don't look good with their hair combed in, like, professional lighting with the makeup on. That's not the vibe, you know. We've seen it with Che Guevara as, uh, as, as well. Um, you know, uh, it's, it, 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 buttons open, chest hair, you, you know, wily beard and hair. That's, you know, that's the... That's the that's the aesthetic. Anyway, <clears throat> okay, so we've de we've determined the sc the skull tells us he's trustworthy. Now we know. Anyway, uh, let's see. So he was born in eighty six, which means he's only eight years older than me. That's really impressive. Wow, thirty five then? He'd be he'd be thirty five. Um, does it say here? Whatever. Um, thereabouts. Student politics, he was, uh, let's see, participated in the re-establishment of, oh yeah, age 35, there it is, I don't know why I couldn't find that, um, in the re-establishment of the Federation of Secondary School Students of Punta Arenas, Arenas? No, it doesn't have the little wavy on top, Arenas, then. Um, let's see, political collective, autonomous left, student law department, this, that, and the other. He's quite young, so he's got rather a short Wikipedia page, I think. Um, let me see. Candidate for the leadership of the University of Chile Student Federation. Uh, elected president with 30.52% of the votes. Wow, he won with much larger margins this time around. Let's see. Then he was a member of the Chamber of Deputies, which is a thing that I don't know much about, but good on him then. And then we have the presidential candidacy. I'm wondering if we can see like a collection of his political views. No, we cannot, actually. Uh a shame. That's normally what I'm looking to see. That's specifically what I was looking to see here. Uh, that's okay. I can find it here on his campaign promises. Uh, Gabriel Boric campaign promises. If we can find an English language article, uh, that would be sick nasty. That's the English wiki. Well, I'm sorry to say I can't read the non-English wiki. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid I am Limited to the English wiki, uh, in in terms of yeah, my ability to uh, learn to learn Spanish. Yeah, sorry, I'd be able to make out maybe uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. There's a button for that. Okay, fine. If you want, sure. Is it what's the uh, what's the precursor? Is it just SP for Spanish? Is it S or SP? ES, ES. That yeah, Espanol, of course. Yeah, of course. There we go. Translate to English. Let's see how good this is. Oh, this is a much larger article. Nice. Okay. Contro controversies. Ooh. We'll take a look at that shortly. Uh, deputy, student life. Do we have a political position section? No, of course. We have to read through this. Okay. <clears throat> Family and studies. This is background. Student leader. Mass mobilization. 30.52%. Uh, we took a look at that. Deputy. Uh, very, very cool. Did thing arguing that the armed forces constituencies of people announced the rejection of his coalition yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i don't i don't i don't think so guys it's only so much we can do here what's the controversy though uh death of jaime guzman it was revealed that gabriel boric along with the deputy maite orsini went to france after an official trip to israel where they visited ricardo palma salamanca a member of the Manuel Rodriguez Autonomo Patriotic Front, which is a Chilean guerrilla organization with a Marxist-Leninist political ideology, convicted of the murder of Senator Jaime Guzman, who remained in a... Okay, so they visited a member of a guerrilla group then? Uh, controversy, criticism, announced sanctions against the deputies, risking a fine of 1.3 million pesos, uh, double standard, defense of human rights, hypocrite. Okay, that's it. So at one point they met like a criminal or something. American politicians meet criminals every day. All right. Well, I think I've I think I've arrived at my at my at my position, my belief. And my belief is that socialism is good. That's right. And I wish uh Gabriel Boric and everyone who voted for him uh all the luck in the world cuz they're going to need it. It's always an uphill battle. But I'm glad I talked about this. It's a bit of good news. Really, it's it's good to see, you know, some some good stuff happening. America is just such a despotic a fucking nightmare hellscape. It's just nice to, you know, see some good stuff happening. Hey, Vosh, could you please tell your handler not to coup this guy? I'll keep it in mind. Um, do you still think the CIA is interested in coups in Latin America? Uh, y yeah. 
sure, if they can get away with it. But it's getting harder to get away with it uh, because the countries they're interested in are getting significantly more developed and there's more transparency, public pressure, blah-de-blah. -blah. But yeah, of course, obviously, countries will do anything if it acts in their own interest.